Well, yes, Colin, there is a certain melancholy about today's anniversary because Americans realise that what they could do in 1969, they can't do today. And I think there's a real questioning going on now about what it actually meant 40 years ago and what America does now to move forward, certainly in the space race that some of those astronauts that you mentioned uh, believe uh, they should. They feel that people need to be even more ambitious if it is that their legacy of 1969 doesn't go to waste. The machines that took man to the moon 40 years ago continue to fascinate at Washington's Air and Space Museum. The Eagle has landed. The moon landing and Neil Armstrong's first steps were a defining moment of the 20th century. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong rarely appears in public these days, but chose this anniversary to talk about what it all meant. It was the ultimate peaceful competition, USA versus USSR. I'll not assert that uh, it was a diversion which prevented a war. Nonetheless, it was a diversion. But man hasn't been back since 1972. NASA wants to by 2020. But a review of human space flight ordered by President Obama may mean the money's not there. I was a pilot about eight years, and then I was an astronaut, 18. The men who went, like Alan Bean, the fourth man to walk on the moon, says we should forget the lunar surface and focus on Mars. If we did it with all these countries, Russia building the rocket, the United States building the spacecraft, China building the electronics, uh, India building the launch site, or whatever it is, and launch for Mars, it would have a tremendously unifying effect on this Earth. NASA has even suggested that one day, one-way tickets could be available to volunteers happy to live in space. Let's start thinking uh, of exploration as it really is, and are we up to it? When I look at mission planning and what it takes to get somebody to Mars and what it takes to get somebody back, I think the mission that sends people there and brings them back is four times as expensive as if we just take them there and then supply them. So would there be many takers? Definitely, yeah. Amazing, going to live in space. I don't really think so because there's too high a probability of like a space soup ribbon, like your eyes popping out. <laughs> All the different health effects and well, there's a lot of things I would want to stay on Earth. Love yeah. to visit, but not permanently. For now, NASA knows it has to persuade the public that it is worth going to space at all is an investment in our future. We all say there was not one dime spent on the moon. It was all spent in America. And it, and it created technologies uh, and, uh, that we all enjoy today. My BlackBerry has 65,000 times the memory of our Apollo computer. NASA's present day work continues. Astronauts today began work on, among other things, repairing one of the International Space Station's toilets. We don't know when or if man will ever step foot on the moon again. Those who already have say the world should be more ambitious if it is to keep probing that final frontier.